everybody. Today I want to talk about a tool built into the Windows 10 environment called Microsoft Whiteboard. So I'm going to be running mine on my New Line Interactive Display. I'm running a Windows 10 onboard PC that's plugged in back there. You could also do this with any Windows 10 device that is actually plugged in to your panel. So to access Microsoft Whiteboard, this is a free software that you can get from the Microsoft Store, and you just log into it with your Office 365 account. I'm going to come down here to the bottom, and on my toolbar, I have a little icon. It looks like a pen with a squiggly line. If you don't see that icon, go ahead and touch and hold on your taskbar to right-click. When you see that square, just release, and you'll see that there is a Show Windows Inc. Workspace button. Now, the reason I want to talk about this is because right now we're all working on distance learning, especially in K-12 and higher education. And for business meetings, this is good when you have separate offices or people working from home right now. So you can run this in conjunction with a video conferencing solution like Google Meet or Zoom. For example, you can share your screen and you can collaborate simultaneously. So I'm going to go ahead and open my whiteboard by selecting that button and then hitting the whiteboard option here on the left. One of the things that I like about Microsoft Whiteboard is that it automatically syncs. So if I go to a different device and log into Microsoft Whiteboard, I can actually access all my whiteboards from there. I have already created one here that I'm going to go ahead and open up. Now, Microsoft Whiteboard does have object recognition built into it, meaning if I grab my stylus, then I can go ahead and start writing in my very fancy glitter pen. If I take my hands on the screen, you'll notice I can move around, and I do have that limitless canvas, which is going to make it super convenient. So do have object recognition. I can go ahead and move that. At the bottom here, I have all of my basic pen tools. I also have things like a ruler if I need to draw straight lines. Let's say I'm doing math classes. I can do that. Get rid of that. I have a lasso tool, and then I have some other functions here at the bottom. Now, Microsoft Whiteboard is super robust. So you can actually do a lot with it. I can touch and hold on the screen, and it gives me options. I can pull in images directly from my computer. So let's say I want to pull in this image. I'm just going to hit open it's going to drop that image in for me and I can move it around as an object. If I need to zoom in and out, it does have pinch to zoom, just like on a tablet. So we can zoom in here. And now we can talk about the visual processing system. If I touch and hold again, I can also pull in things like PDFs. So if I have PDF lessons that I wanna use on here, I can pull in Word documents, PowerPoints. I can do an image search. So you do have a lot of options. Sticky notes are another one that you can throw into this document. So let's put in a PDF. Now on the right side here, it's going to ask me, do you want to insert all of these pages or just some? So I'm going to insert my last two pages here. And you notice they just drop those in directly to my whiteboard. If I need to explain a formula, for example, I can do that here on the right, and then we can solve this equation as a class. So you can see I can actually incorporate a lot of different tools while I'm using this whiteboard. It also has an ink to shape and, my favorite, an ink to table. If you draw a square and draw a line through it, I can actually create tables directly on my whiteboard. You will notice as I write, my table will expand automatically for me. So you can create tables, take notes, uh, run meetings this way, lots of different options, and all of this space to write on. Now, other cool features is if I go to my menu here at the top corner, you will notice I can export this as an image. I can drop it into Teams if I'm using Microsoft Teams, and I can format by background. So if I'm doing a math class, for example, and I need grid paper, I have that option here. I have graph paper. I have wide ruled line paper, lots of different ways that you can collaborate. Now, favorite tool by far is at the top right corner, I have a plus button. I can invite anybody into my Microsoft Whiteboard just using their Office 365 email. So I can search somebody. For example, I'm going to search my colleague, Ellen. It's going to suggest contacts from my address book. I can select on her name and I can invite her to join me with a can edit permission. That means when Ellen opens that whiteboard on her end, she can actually write on my whiteboard, or if she doesn't have a touchscreen laptop available, she can add in text using the text tool here at the bottom. We can do instantaneous live collaboration, and as she's writing, I'll have a little bubble with her initials there so that I know who's participating with me. 
So if you want your students to be able to participate at the same time, if you want to be able to write a math problem and call on someone within your Zoom or Microsoft Teams meeting to collaborate, they can do that right, right on the screen and it'll be instantaneous. So as you can see, lots of features built into this whiteboard and it's a great canvas to have for that distance learning environment regardless of what grade level you're in.